Okay, we're going to look at number 30 through 35, which is graphing exponential functions as well as log functions, and also looking at some important information like domain and range and um, vertical asymptotes. Um, so let's go ahead and sketch these graphs first. Um, I'm going to start with the exponentials since uh, we've had the most practice with those. I'm going to plot here the y-intercept first. So the y-intercept is when x equals 0. 3 to the 0 is 1. So my y-intercept at 1. And I can tell that this is an increasing graph because the base is a number greater than 1. So we have a graph that looks something like this. On the other exponential graph, we have a base of 1 third. So this is decreasing. The y-intercept is still 1 because when x equals 0, you get y equals 1. But this is a decreasing exponential graph, which will look like this. Now, in order to graph y equals log base 3 of x, since we know that graph b is the inverse of graph a, we can see what we get when we reflect this graph over the line y equals x. So we'll have a graph like that. So if I copy that over here, <coughs> so now looking at the questions here, the first question is which functions are inverses of one another? So here we already knew that a and b are inverses. Which function has a vertical asymptote? That means which graph approaches a vertical line um, but never actually touches it. So in graph A, this graph is approaching the y-axis. This is a vertical asymptote. Um, and which functions have a domain of all real numbers? Remember, domain refers to x values. And we're looking at which graphs exist for all values of x. If you look at graph A, this graph only exists for positive values of x, nothing negative. But graphs B and C exist for all real numbers in the x direction. So that would be b and c. Um, which function represents an increasing exponential function? We can tell by looking at the equation or the graph here that this is increasing, graph b. And which functions have an asymptote of y equals 0? y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. So both graphs b and c are approaching the x-axis. The x-axis is a horizontal line, and that is the asymptote of the graph since the graph never actually intersects it, but gets closer and closer to it. 